Hi, I'm Beth with the Green Girls, and today we're at Project Save Our Surf's fourth annual event in Santa Monica, California. Now today, everybody was out surfing in the waves, but tonight, they're coming to the blue carpet, and we're going to talk to them soon. Stay tuned. TheGreenGirls.com so, Jesse, were you out there on the beach today surfing? I was. How were the waves today? Uh, it was closing out a lot. Um, I, d I don't normally ride longboard, but I just my, my buddy just had his birthday, and we had him shaped a really nice new 10-foot board, and so I took that out. I was really afraid of like <laughs> of damaging it. Yeah, um, Santa Monica gets some big yeah, clothes out sometimes. Yeah, the swell's coming, so that's why. Yeah, that's I why. mean, that's good. You know, better that than, yeah. than, you know, than being flat. But um, I... Um, I didn't damage the board. I broke the leg rope on the leg rope on the last wave, so that's that's okay. all I did. I can replace the leg rope. That's fine. Well, as long as you didn't get injured, you're here tonight yeah. for Project Save Our Surf. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming out. No worries. Thanks for having me. You have been a local surfer. You were a pro surfer, and now you're Santa Monica surf instructor. I see you out there every day teaching people, and obviously the water's a little dirty. And so you are a big advocate of Project Save Our Surf. Is that correct? Yes. Um, I've been involved since the beginning, and um, you know a couple people, Tana Frederick and uh, other other friends of hers that I started working with back then. Um, they really are the ones that brought uh, awareness and they really back then took initiative to take it upon themselves to say hey we got to do something about this you know because um, we're out here surfing every day and I mean I've surfed 30 years I feel like I'm immune to it and I, I you know I don't see it so much you know like or feel it but people are just learning to surf I, I you know I'm, I'm hearing you know people get sore throats and people um, are seeing bags and you know it's just one of those things I think I took for granted for many years of my life and I'm not afraid to, to, to mention it that I just didn't I wasn't the one to take initiative of it and it took clients and friends of mine who brought it to my attention it's been wonderful well, you've been doing a great job promoting this and helping everybody out and helping clean up the beach. So I really appreciate it because I'm out there surfing too. So not quite <laughs> as good as you, but I try. Well, you know, it, all whoever has the most fun, you know, um, you can be a beginner, you can be advanced, you know, professional. It doesn't matter. It's such a fun sport. And um, the more we're aware of the ocean and trying to uh, keep it safe, it's going to always give back. So, James, you're a pro surfer. Were you out there today in the waves? I was. I was. I was here bright and early and uh, ready to go. It was a good time. It was a lot of fun and saw some old friends. Good, good. Now you have also a cause besides Project Save Our Surf, which is a great cause today. But something I read about Eco Warrior. Yeah, I started a program um, about six years ago now called the Eco Warrior Project. And basically, in the beginning. I would travel around the world to regions of coastline that were being threatened by either pollution or overdevelopment. And then I would write a story for the Surfer's Path magazine and they would do a feature about it. And since then I've traveled to about 10 different countries and documented my travels and some of the environmental issues. And actually in the case of Chicago, luckily I was able to help the locals there get surfing legalized. So. Surfing legalized in Chicago. <laughs> yes, it was. It was honestly, it was illegal. Not only surfing, but any water flotation uh, craft or board or you know flotation device was illegal in, in the Chicago Crazy. waters. Crazy! Yeah. I had no idea. Interesting fact. Yeah, and, and and we actually got legalized in August of 2009. So that was that was a great win for everyone. The Green Girls. Dot com.